so we are going to discuss note taking taking notes okay this is this is an important part you must be like what is he talking about so ba is <coughs> B, one of the main, most important thing a ba does is attend meetings right when he attends meetings you know he is expected to know what happened in the meeting the second most important things the thing he does is he tells others what happened in the meeting the third most important thing he does is uh, writes documents about what happened in the meeting meeting minutes meeting minutes and actually write put it in a document so third thing is minutes of meeting fourth one is he does is he puts it in a form of a proper document you know he gives it a flow and there when there are questions he organizes meetings and attends more meetings and when he attends more meetings he gets more notes and again every time he attends meetings and gets more notes he has to come back and prepare his documents well first send minutes of meeting for that meeting to various parties who attended then again put that in your document put in his document so as you can clearly see ba so typically how much time a ba spends in a day in a, in meetings most of, most of the time at least yeah. Four hours or five hours, half a day goes in the meetings on an average. During the peaks, ten hours of meetings. Then, when you go home, four hours of compilation of the notes. So, note taking is the most important duty that you perform. You must be able, you should be able to recall what happened in the meeting by looking at your notes. If and how would you recall by taking effective notes? So, effective note taking, you can attend classes. There are some online courses. But I'm gonna teach you my method. You guys know I'm not gonna get into any bullshit theory, right? I'm gonna try to BS around things. I'm gonna tell you exactly what people do, and that's what works for them. You know, we, you can theorize note taking to as much extent as you want. People have written books on this, effective human skills, blah blah blah. You can go through those that will work to your advantage. But we'll see how I've been able to cope up with this stress. So other important last but not the least the most important thing of a duty is a <clears throat> thing of a ba is someone asks him after two months what happened in that meeting he should be able to go back to his notes look at everything and say okay. on that day this is the thing that we discussed and this was a conclusion we drew and this is what this was the outcome and this was the pending issue so we're going to talk <clears throat> We're going to talk about all these things okay uh, how to take notes effectively okay at the end of the day <coughs> at the end of the day then got recorded three times at the end of the day <coughs> you, we all know note taking we have been taking notes since we were in school only thing is we're gonna add some little little things to it so that we can make it more effective from a BA standpoint, from an eight hour standpoint, especially from the standpoint that we should be able to recall it. Remember when we took notes, nobody took interest in our notes when we were in school. Now everybody will take interest. People will be very interested in knowing what happened in the meeting. So you should be able to summarize it, conceptualize it, put it in a model, things like that. Basically summarize it. If someone says, how was the meeting? Flop or success well that's one thing but then say what were decisions were taken you should be able to say, okay we basically decided that there will be four email templates and they are still working on the third fourth one they're going to work that to get back to me on the fourth one it this is the thing typically that comes out of your mouth when you have to summarize one meeting anyway we'll get to note taking important part of the note taking is one of the most important mistakes that the young ones do or the new entrants do is they take big notes for example, if they want to write this line, they'll say, for example, if we were to write this line, this is how we'll write it. That's not the way to take notes, right? Okay. First of all, you should not write everything. You should be able to, in your mind, there should be a diagram. You should be preparing a diagram in your mind. And, and whenever that diagram is, 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 is complete, you just write the things about the diagram. Or when the sub diagram in the diagram is complete, you write something about the diagram. Second thing is what you write in the diagram, on the paper, typically should be abbreviated for for example if someone writes in crm on demand in crm on demand there are four features this is wrong way of writing notes just write cod for feas fea how many times can you make an error that you every time you write fea as a feature 
and you won't be able to recall it. You don't have to worry about the entire dictionary. You are sitting in a Siebel meeting. FEA probably means something related to Siebel BA job. So what it could be, even if you forget, first of all, you will start remembering this abbreviations that you're creating. So most important thing is you should have standard abbreviations. Always use standard abbreviation. For example, should be EG, that is, right? IE should be that is. All these standard abbreviations, you cannot compromise. You must use those standard abbreviations. <coughs> Second one is CRM on demand should be COD. Siebel should be SBN. You should create these easily understandable abbreviations yourself. Third set is not easily understandable by others, but easily understandable by you. FEA. You will understand it. FTURE. So you guys do a lot of SMSing. That thing will come to your help here. Like you guys have been exposed to some kind of abbreviating the things. So that, <coughs> you know, you should write walls because that looks very unelegant. You know, but the, st the thing is that um, definitely you should be, you know, compressing the entire line into three or four cent words. I have seen in my class a girl taking notes. <coughs> Not these girls, another girl. Really, in, in Siebel, there are four ways of entering the data. One way is this. She wrote literally like this. If I were to write this note, because this is visual, I won't be able to do it quickly, but I'll tell you if I were to write this note, how I will write. So we want to write. There are four ways of entering data in data records in Siebel. One way is that there are many ways. So that's not the point. I don't know whether it's four or five. It's, it's in one of the videos. So it has been completely touched how many ways are there. One is <coughs> clicking new button. Second one is right click new. Third one is add it. Go, uh, go to edit menu option, click new. Fourth one is control. And that's available only in 6.3. Okay. So I don't know how you would write, but this is the way I will write. Four ways rec entry instead of rec, record, record, rec, new, but you can say button if, if it doesn't make sense. I mean, you don't have to be too much fanatic about, you know, making sure you use only the abbreviation. RC new standard for right click is RC. It's a known standard. Added menu option. Now, if you go to added menu option, how can you make a mistake of checking what should be clicked? Mm -hmm. Added menu. In fact, you don't even have to write menu option. You just say edit menu. That's it. Option doesn't need to be written. Control N. <coughs> right? Now I mentioned that control N is present only in dedicated client. Right? If you write this simple three words, it will remind you what you thought. So the idea is not to make sure that, you know, that you give it to someone, <coughs> you know, to give it to a nursery school guy and he can read everything and he can understand everything. Idea is you should be able to recall what you discussed. So idea is you should, when you look at it, you should be able to recall. When you start taking effective notes, soon you will be able to realize what will help you in recalling, what will not help you in recalling. Okay, so very funny thing here. So my point is when when you start thinking in terms of taking proper notes, you will soon realize that you will soon start to learn how you think, how you organize your mind, how you organize the data in your mind. And very soon you'll be able to re realize, you know, what makes you remember things, what doesn't make you remember things, right? If I know <laughs> that all is you realize, you know, you remember only when the entire sentence is written. I'm telling you here, none of you guys is like that and will be like that. Anybody who's good in analytical skills, that's what my main choice was. And communication would be able to summarize his uh, 20 word sentence into three or four words. Everybody can do it. You will be able to do it. You will be able to do it too. But there are people who cannot. If they cannot, they can never become a BA. Because BA means note taking. Customer is talking to you. There is no way you can say, all 20 guys, please stop. I'm taking notes. <laughs> you have to take the notes on the go as well as carry on the conversation as well as moderate the meeting sometimes. Okay. Right. So remember that part. You'll be asked to take notes and you'll be taking notes and you'll have to really remember what you just did, wrote, what everybody discussed as well as be very intently listening to everybody. You don't want to miss the things when you're writing the things. 
So you should have the yeah. habit of your ears being open, your eyes being open, and your hands being, you know, hands, hands running. What happens if you miss a point? <coughs> Can you, you know, interact with your other VAs? So, yes, you can. So typically what happens is, in a, so we, we, I don't want to stress those things here. FAQ, what happens if you miss something? Answer is, it's not the end of the world, but don't make it a habit. Other VAs, typically everybody will be taking notes, all VAs. Typically at the end of such a workshop session, you guys will reconcile your notes. You will send your notes to other VAs, they will send your their notes to you. You will reconcile all the notes. So we'll reconcile the notes and then we will send it to the users. We will also articulate the notes. Obviously we will not send these notes to anybody. So we'll articulate the notes properly. So that is what will happen. You'll be given a lot of chance to, to but I can tell you after learning this, after going through <coughs> the session, you'll be the best note taker among all the BA sitting in this thing. Typical BA is a lethargic animal. The guys out there, the BAs out there are lethargic people. Like so important thing is this is very important thing note taking so I don't know where we were but let me continue so when you're taking notes I already emphasized the importance of abbreviations and I told you you need to make sure you have your own abbreviations also that is the one that is the thing which will add a lot of value to your life <coughs> set standard abbreviations Siebel standard abbreviations like you know you make SBL COD which makes sense. These are sensible abbreviations. But then like FEA, OPT, like options, OPT, whatever makes sense to you, you should start creating abbreviations for that. After saying this, there are certain standard things that happen in a meeting. First thing is action items. Things that need to be done after the meeting. So typically in a meeting, action items will be coming. You need to note those down separately in the area. Mera method kya hai? What is my method? What I do is, when I'm taking the notes, <coughs> I write A, I write in front of that. And typically on the left side, right here. If I'm taking the notes like this, let's say I'm writing something like this. I will write A, I write here. In my notepad. Right? If I think it might get lost in the gibberish, I will circle it. That way it will not get lost. Circles are very easy to spot. So I will write like A, I and just circle it like this. This is one method I follow. Second method I follow is, I will make a line like this in the corner and write all and write a heading AI, underline it and write the AIs here. This is one thing I do, okay? So AI means action item, decisions taken. In the nodes, you should be able to look at those nodes and see what decisions were taken. Like here again, D can be written, right? Or underline that decision. The entire thing. The decisions are the most, most important things. When you're sending the minutes of meeting to others, those decisions will come handy. You just need to send them the decisions mostly. Other thing is, before I go further into what kind of areas come into picture, one thing is headings. You need to have proper headings. For example, the discussions in a day, eight hour long day, context, right? They will just go from topic to topic. When they shift the topic, you should write a heading. You have enough time when the topic is started, topic is there's a break typically. Just write the topic heading and, 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 and basically make sure you know you, you write it properly. Like topic headings are very important. Okay. Like okay, this is very important, you know, because what happens is if you go over the entire notes of eight hours or eight days, you won't be able to understand, you know, where did the day start with? So it will help in remembering, you know, on that day, okay, this is what happened. So topics are very important. Like for example, yesterday when we were discussing, you could have written master versus transition, then my keyword versus whatever. So I'm, you could write the entire topic without abbreviation also, because you, you would have, you, you typically have ample time. Okay. So headings are very important. When you write headings, it helps you in like remembering what happened one. When, okay. So you know, you remember that you know, like there was discussion related to this requirement one, then requirement one. This was a requirement, read, read only field requirement, things like that. Write that. That way, it will you'll remember that this was the topic discussed. Typically, it will make your um, uh, ability to take notes very crisp, but also increase your ability to think through the requirements down the line. Right. Right. 
So just in passing, the importance of not taking is so